scare of Trump. He almost wins again in 2020. Do you think Washington and, and, and those same elites, when I say liberal elites, it, they encompass both parties to an extent, or the political center of the country? Do you think they've had a sufficient shock and you say, never again, and they've course corrected, or, or are they no, still not making I, the changes they need to? I don't think so. I mean, the issues are a little bit different. I mean, in some areas, they've... to democracy in America is probably the strongest it's been really since the Civil War because you know, something like 70% of Republican voters believe Trump uh, when he says that the, stole, the election was stolen in 2020. And as a result, Republicans all over the country have been trying to change not just voter access rules, but the way that the vote is counted uh, such that they could award the electors in the 2024 election to a Republican if uh, they don't get, you know, sufficient popular vote. So it's a completely anti-democratic uh, initiative that they're undertaking. And if they do that, you know, uh, and it's a close election, I think, you know, the chances for violence uh, are pretty high because both sides are really energized on this issue. happened in the past so there's clearly a, a, a significant minority of, of US citizens who have bought into an alternative reality I mean that's indisputable but when I think about you know in the, in the years after 9-11 I think at one point something like 70% of Americans thought that Saddam was there was a relative calling the results <laughs> Because Stop the Steel was crazy, but I mean, maybe so was the floor again in 2000. It's just been uh, happening. Uh, I don't polarization is really what's driving the cognitive uh, disagreement. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a different model. You know, people don't take facts in and actually process them and come to conclusions. They start with the they want, you know, that will support their conclusions. That's really, I think, the mental process that's going on. And so there's this higher polarization that's led people to pick the facts that they want, and the internet has made that uh, much easier to do. However, Trump made it much, much worse uh, because, you know, every American election has irregularities. You know, the 1960 election that 